Hi, this is Amit Kirti here. In this video, I would like to talk about if and if else statements in C programming language. So we will look at the following items. We will look at introduction to if and if else with examples. We will look at what is Bacchus nor form and what is the Bacchus nor form for if and if else statements. We will look at some interesting examples for if statement and we will also compare if and if else and switch statement and uh, see which one to choose at what point of time. So if and if else statements are actually conditional branching statements in C or C++. So the body of if and or if else gets executed if a particular condition gets satisfied. So on the left hand side you see the logic for if explained in the form of a flowchart and on the right hand side you see the if else logic. So for if uh, first when whenever the control reaches uh, near the if statement we will check a condition which will be enclosed within the if bracket so if the condition gets satisfied then we will execute the conditional code if it doesn't get satisfied then we will simply skip that part of the code whereas for if else logic we first check the condition if the condition holds good then we execute the if code if the condition does not hold good then we execute the else part of the code so let's uh, have a look at an example of both if and if else. So these are two examples, one for if and one for if else. So in the uh, in the example for if, we see that the aim is at this point, the value of x should not be 0 or less than 0. So what we do is we scan the element from the user. So we ask him input an element for x. We check if the user has set a value of x less than or equal to 0. If yes, then we set it to some default value like 1 and then we come here. So if the user has set a value which is which is greater than 0, then we will not execute the if statement. But if he has set a value of 0 or less than 0, we will set it to 1. So at this point, the value of x will never be 0 or less than 0. For if else, we have this code which tries to find out the greater of the two numbers. So we ask the user to enter value of x and value of y and we check if x is greater than y we say x is greater than y else we say y is greater than x so if the condition gets satisfied this gets executed if the condition is not satisfied we branch into the other part of the code and execute now let's try to look at some interesting scenarios the first one is can i do something like this so in an if statement can i do a printf The second example is, in an if statement, can I call a function? The third example is, can I call a function inside a function inside a function from if? So inside if, can I do something like this? And the fourth example is, can I do some complicated operation like this inside an if? Will it work? Does it give a compilation error? Now, in order to understand whether these are valid scenarios or some of them are error scenarios, we need to know what exactly fits inside an if statement. So within the within these two brackets, what exactly does it go in? So to understand that, we need a small background on Bacchus nor form. So Bacchus nor form has notations used to describe context-free grammars. It is generally used to describe natural languages like English. And it is also used to describe programming languages like C and C++. So let's see how, what is a Bacchus nor form with an example. Let's assume there are, uh, the, there are many ways to write the name of a person. For example, we can write the name of a person with a prefix like Professor Albert Einstein. We can also have names of people which end with uh, junior or senior or a Roman number like Martin Luther King Jr. or we can have King George the fourth. We can also have name of people where the the prefix of the name or the first part of the name could be just initials like W A Mozart. So there are different ways of representing a name. So can we have a, a syntactical way of representing a person's name? So Bacchus nor form gives a way of representing these names in the form of a proper syntax. So for example, the name part of a person can have an optional prefix part, the personal part, the last name and an optional suffix part. So the optional prefix part 
could be mr doctor professor or nothing so in this example we have professor and in this example we don't have any prefix the personal part is your first name so it could be martin luther or albert or it could just be an initial so it could be w dot a dot and the suffix part could be senior junior or some roman numerical or nothing so in this case for albert einstein we don't have anything and for mozart also we don't have anything whereas for martin luther king we do have a suffix part so these four lines actually are the bacchusnor form representation for a name of a person so similarly can we have a bacchusnor form for if and if else so this is a bacchusnor form for if statement in a c or c++ program so an if statement can either be an if or if else so if it is a if it will be if followed by some condition and if this condition holds good we execute one statement or we can have if followed by a condition and if this condition satisfies within curly brackets we can have a, a body of the if statement and this condition can be an expression followed by a relational operator followed by an expression or it could be a condition followed by a logical operation followed by a condition so this is like a recursion so condition in turn is again expression related relation relative operator followed by an expression so a, rela a relational operator is less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to etc and a logical operator is a bang operator and operator or operator so this is for the if else it will be an if and a statement else the body so let's take some examples so if it is an expression real operator and an expression it would be something like this if this is an expression a relational operator again an expression so one example is x is less than y or x is greater than y or x is less than or equal to y so and so on so for the logical operator which is condition followed by logical operator followed by a condition these are some examples one is using the not operator the other is the and which has one condition which again is an expression relational operator expression then we have an and and we have another condition which is an expression relation operation and an expression so this is an example for and so the you will enter an if block when this and this both have to be satisfied only then we enter the if block whereas for an or operator if either of them get satisfied we enter the if block so what what exactly does an if statement condition mean the condition means anything that evaluates to a number can be put as an if condition so whatever we put inside the opening and closing bracket of if should evaluate to some number only then it is a valid if statement if it doesn't evaluate to a number then you will get a compilation error so when i wrote like this is this a valid one it is actually a valid one because if you look at the definition of printf statement it says that printf returns a value which is equal to number of character it prints so if it prints a hello world it will returns a 10 or 11 which is again a number and in in if we are supposed to get a number since printf returns a number it is a perfectly valid statement so it will execute now for the second one is this a perfectly valid if statement now the uh, to answer this question we should know what func does if this function func returns a number then this particular program should compile if this function does not return a number then we will end up with an error so assuming that the function func returns a number we can treat this as a valid scenario now what about this third case that we were referring to so here as we saw in the second scenario function 3 has to return a value which is an input to function 2 and function 2 should return a value which should which will become an input to function 1 and function 1 should return a value which will be taken by if statement to decide whether to execute this or not so multiple function calls are perfectly valid as long as this chain returns a value from one function to the other and the final function func1 should return a value to if statement so only then it is valued so assuming each of the function returns a value this is a perfectly valid statement now regarding the last one is this a valid statement this can be valid if each of them is a number because 
i is less than j will result in a number and when we and with k plus plus again this will be a number this and c of right shift of 2 will again be a number uh, this or of not of d will again be a number this and of p will again be a number so finally this expression evaluates to a number which can be checked in an if statement so you can have a complex arithmetic provided it results in a number then this is a perfectly valid statement so all of these can be considered as perfectly valid for an if statement now let's try to look at an if else example so let me assume that i am trying to figure out based on the bmi value that is body mass index whether i am a thin normal overweight or an obese person so i i input the value from the user his bmi value and then if the bmi value happens to be less than 18 then i am really a thin person if the value of bmi is actually between 18 and 25 so we enter this condition fails so we will go into an else if else if bmi value is greater than 18 and less than 25 i happen to be a perfectly normal person else if my bmi value is greater than 25 but it is less than 29 then i am actually an overweight person if none of these conditions satisfy then i will finally enter into the last else statement and i should be a obese person so this is an else if if else block of code which keeps jumping from one of condition to the other based on the input values so if we have multiple checkings we use this else if ladder now we have there are there is another way of representing an if else statement so let's try to take an example of if else so i input a number so if the number input by user is 1 i print it is 1 else if then a value of x is 2 then i print x is 2 else if the value is 3 i print x is 3 and so on there is another way of writing an if else that is by using a switch so what how does switch execute so let's assume i take an input from the user which is a value of x then i use something called as a switch and i pass the value and i have a case so case 1 so if the value of x is 1 i print x as 1 if the value of x is 2 i case you will enter this case and i print x is 2 and break so if you if you consider this part of code which uses if else if ladder and if you see this switch case both of them seem to be doing exactly the same thing so which one should i use and when so if i were to generalize the if else it looks like if an expression then body so if an expression gets executed then i print print is my body else if an expression then print body else if you have an expression then print body and finally you will have an else so this is how it looks and for switch we have switch an expression this is an expression x then we have case constant expression that is one is a constant number and we execute the body and then we will break we have another case with another constant expression and we execute the body and break so what we see here is expression is only evaluated at the switch statement and these are all constant expressions whereas in this case each if can have its own expression so each expression can be different in case of if else whereas this expression gets evaluated once and gets compared with constant expression so you have more freedom in an if else if ladder where you can have multiple uh, evaluations inside each if and they can be different so at each else if i can input different expressions and i can call functions from here which you cannot do from a switch statement which is because it compares with a constant expression so this particular switch is really helpful when you want to test against constant values and if you have complex calculations and then evaluate the value if else is a much better option so this is an ex example of if else so this concludes our examples uh, for both if and if else so thanks for watching this video